Hi guys, so um, today's video I'm hoping will be of interest to you. Um, what I'm planning on doing is rearranging my nail polish shelves. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you what's on there already. Then I've got a selection of polishes out that I want to put on display. Um, so I shall show you those. Then I'll have a fiddle about and we'll come back and I will show you what the end result is. So yeah, so I hope you find this interesting. Um, make sure you leave me a thumbs up if you do. So let's go and have a look at them. So I'm afraid you're going to have to put up with my wobbly camera skills. Now this first shelf um, is got my swatch sticks in because I am a bit of a control freak and I really wanted them to be on display so I can quickly have a look what colours I've got. If I'm looking for a specific colour I can, I can you know, just find it quickly. Um, now on the bottom there is room for polishes and at the moment I've got my pretty seriouses on here. Um, this is one collection that I'm hoping will expand. So I plan on moving this collection over and in its place I'm going to put my model's own chromes because they fit across one shelf. So on the next one coming across here we've got my Formula X polishes, some lolly, Barry M lolly glosses and then we've got all of my sugar coats. Um, these bottles I think just look nice on display. Um, that is one of the things I go for with these shelves is what looks <laughs> nice on display. Um, but the sugar coats don't, the trouble is they don't all, I don't have enough of all of them to sort of, I sort of want one shelf or two shelves to be full of the same polish but unfortunately it doesn't work like that. Um, on the next one up we've got, now here's my is Maltese de Kelly's, so we've got the superheroes, then we've got Star Wars and Bert and Ernie will be joining them on here. Um, then next I've got some Colour Club Minis, um, these are my favourite Colour Clubs that I've got, um, as well as the Halo Hues, but these are the, were called Gala's Gems and I think it was Birch Box or something I got these with, but they're really nice polishes, you can see by this one I've already used loads of that, so I do like those. Then we've got a couple of the Crayolas, those are the only two I've got, and then some more Sally Hansons. Um, then here... As you can see, I've got my Kikos. Uh, these will be staying out. I just need a bit of a rearrange. Um, and at the top is my some OPIs and China glazes. Uh, they're a bit higgledy piggledy at the minute. I I've just been putting them on there, and I like I'm I do want to put things in sort of colour order. Um, I've then after my D stash, I've got three shelves of Siati. And there's a space, so I could be taking one out of the D-stash just to make the shelf full. Uh, these ones are really pretty on display, and I'll be honest, I, I think some of them I keep out as well, because otherwise you forget you've got them. Um, so it is nice to have a rearrange now and again. Then we've got some S's and the Sally Hansen Magnetics. Again, these I will be keeping my S's on display. I quite like S's at the moment. Um, just need to put those in colour order. And then the last four are my model zones. Um, these ones are going to go, these have been on display for a while, so apart from the chromes, the rest are probably going to go into my helmer. So that is what the shelves look like at the moment. Um, if I had enough room to put shelves for all of my polishes, I would, but I don't think the husband would be very happy um, if we had a room full of nail polish shelves. So anyway, right, if I whiz you over here quickly, excuse the messy uh, <laughs> dressing table. So we've got, here's some of the ones that I plan to put out. I want to put some of my H&Ms on display and I want to display a lot more of my Indies um, just because they're so unique. Then I've also got a lot of simple colour polishes. Um, so I think I'm going to probably put those out for a while. Because um, like I say, I do tend to reach for them more if they are on display. So I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of sorting and then I will show you what the end result looks like. Okay, so that was a lot harder than I thought. Turns out my one shelf is wider than the others. Um, so I didn't measure that very well. Um, so 
I've put my model zone chromes on and I've put my InstaDry Crayolas on the end of that to fill that bit up. Um, then what I've done is move my Kikos down and put my Marc Jacobs on display at the bottom. I've now got my H&M's on display next to my sugar coat. Um, I've kept and managed to keep my Formula X and my um, Lolly glosses out there. Then we've got my China glazes. Um, I've not got a great deal of China glaze but I do really like them and my selection that I've got were um, <laughs> majority of them were very well picked out. They were ones that, um, that I sought after rather than just being random ones. Um, and then we've got the top three shelves are all sinful colours which I've got a lot of pinks I didn't realise. I mean for a non-pink person that is a lot of pink. But um, there is a couple I couldn't fit on, so they'll have to stay in Helmer. Um, my brain has to be happy <laughs> with the shelves looking quite neat. So that shelf there looks good now. So I'm happy with that. Um, I did pull a Seattle out of my uh, D-stash just to fill up the top three shelves of here, and I've rearranged them colour-wise. Then we've got my S's and my Sally Hansen Magnetics are still next to those. Again, I've just put them in a better colour order. And then my final four shelves on this one are my Indies. So, well, not all of them. There is a few in the drawers. But, um, so we've got my nine zeros. Then there's a Cupcake and an Emily de Molly just to fill the gap. There's my Arda's Nails. Um, one is missing a sticker, which I'm waiting for her to send me one to to put on there because it came without one um, and then we've got my only glam polishes there Cirque Halcyon because that needs to be out let's face it then the native raw paints uh, ice cream nails and super chick lacquer um, then my Ismaltis de Kelly is now fill up a shelf well I could probably squidge one more in but um, there's those and on the bottom we have my pretty serious collection so um, yeah, so I'm quite pleased. They look quite tidy now. Um, I don't know if I can get back far enough. There we go. So that's what they're looking like at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. I'll probably at some point in the future want to rearrange again, but for the moment that's how they will be staying. So thanks for watching that guys. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye.